Hi everyone, I'm Margarita Muradova, a personal stylist and fashion consultant originally from Kyiv, Ukraine, but currently living in um, Lisbon, Portugal. And in today's video, we're going to talk about five main style lessons I think each and every person needs to know now to create their personal style, to develop their personal style and style DNA. So without further ado, let's get into the video. But actually, before the further ado part, I'd actually like to address the fact that there's always going to be some links regarding helping and donating to Ukraine below this video in the info box. Go check them out. It's going to be a lot of news sources and trustworthy news resources, but also a lot of links to different funds to donate to help Ukrainian refugees, Ukrainian armed forces, and uh, everyone in Ukraine who's fighting for our freedom and the freedom and independence of our country. So let's get into the video and the video is about creating your personal style but from a very simplistic point of view. Therefore, what I actually mean by that is there's simple rules or simple tricks you can implement in your style and create something very unique for you and it doesn't require a lot of effort and the first thing is always try first of all figure out your basics obviously and we'll talk about basics later on in this channel and let me know which types of basics you would like me to discuss more about but at the moment the main thing we need to know obviously we need basics and basic wardrobe therefore some very utilitarian very basic minimalistic pieces quality pieces that would create a base basically for our wardrobe but other than basics you actually need statement pieces in your wardrobe for your wardrobe to look more coherent to be more interesting for you to be more motivated to create some beautiful looks for you to be able to inspire yourself to reflect your inner world your character your personality in the clothing that you're wearing because basic clothes and basics one thing they usually lack is personality necessarily because they're so basic simple lines simple forms simple shapes and their main goal is to be the basis of your wardrobe not your whole wardrobe so always make sure to balance out the basics in your wardrobe with something more unique interesting and something that speaks to your needs, to your lifestyle, to how you feel, to your characters. So something quirky, something romantic, something dramatic, whatever, whatever. And you don't have to necessarily purchase a lot of these things, but just make sure there's a couple of these things and different types of items in your closet that will work for you. So for example, if we're talking about something dramatic and you want to express the dramatic side of yourself, that would be let's just say a leather pant, an oversized leather pant, and also a mini skirt. And that would be absolutely enough for you to create something more unique for your needs, for your style DNA to express yourself within your clothing, but also not overpower your clothing and your wardrobe with those unique pieces, because what ends up usually happening is there's two ends of the spectrum. So there's people who create only basic styling pieces and have only basic wardrobe. And there's some people and a lot of them actually, and I've seen most of them when I'm working with my clients, what ends up happening, you have just too many of these unique pieces and not enough basic pieces for them to be styled with. And therefore you're left with an absolutely not functional and dysfunctional wardrobe where each and every piece is just too unique and there's nothing in your wardrobe in your closet to style it with so you're like you have a lot of pieces but nothing to wear essentially so you need to have the balance of the two and i would usually say aim for the ratio of 70 to 30 so 70 pieces that would be more on a basic size and 30 percent that would lean towards this more unique DNA expressing personality style. The next thing that would create more 
interesting looks that would give more depth to your looks is always make sure that your looks and especially the outline of your looks is not the same all the time. So what usually I see when I work with clients or when I just look at fashion bloggers even, et cetera, et cetera, is that when you choose something that works for you, for example, that would be a straight line within your closet, within your outfit. So like a very straight line t-shirt, a very straight line slim fitting, or maybe even kind of a, on the straight line side jeans, you, always you create the same pattern and the same outfit formula and essentially the same outline and shape of your look in all of the different versions of this look in your closet so everything ends up looking the same and what we're aiming for to create that more of a unique approach to your style is to actually spice up the play on the shape in your look so for example something would have to be more oversized on the top and something more slim fitting on the bottom and vice versa and therefore even if you're working with only basic pieces and no like dna crazy pieces in your wardrobe you would still be able to create more unique and interesting looks in your closet because of the play on the shapes that's happening the next advice would be it's actually really simple but it's a stigma that's still happening and keeps happening actually it keeps being spread in the fashion world as well is styling for your appearance which is the worst mistake actually you can make because what you need to aim for is styling for your personality not your appearance so you can have a specific body shape a specific body proportion specific needs etc but what you need to aim for first and foremost is actually styling for what you want to look like and feel like in your clothing for expressing your personality in a clothing item and then after that the next filter would be your appearance so first comes how you want to feel in your clothing, how you want to influence people and how they need to feel when they look at you in this specific outfit. And only after that comes how you look. Because if you're going by how you look, what ends up happening, it's not necessarily a style that works for you personality-wise. And if we're talking about how we look, there's a lot of things that would look or would suit me or would look good on me so something very quirky a mini skirt a skimpy top something very oversized something very girly something very masculine and it doesn't necessarily mean i need to wear all of the things that look good on me so for example if you're going shopping and you bring your girlfriend with you what usually happens is that you're picking the clothing you or you're trying them on you go out and you're like so how does it look on me and she's like oh this looks like okay not very good and then you wear something that doesn't work for you you don't feel really good in and she's like oh my god this dress looks amazing on you and it looks amazing that's true but you don't necessarily feel good in this dress but you end up buying the dress because you kind of look good in it you know what i mean so styling for your appearance just doesn't work that way long term because what you end up with is with a lot of different absolutely sparse absolutely totally not working together type of clothing and closet where each and every item of each and every style on the planet can be found and it's not coherent there's no common thread within the style because you just pick clothing by the way it looks on you and not by the way it makes you feel. It's really deep, you know? So first point and foremost all the time is how you want to feel in the clothing. How do you want people to perceive you in this outfit? What's the impression you want to give? And what's your personality? And how can you translate this personality in a specific outfit? And only after that you go by how you want to look in this clothing and how it fits you and this is the only approach that would work for everyone long term because this is the only approach that actually creates this unique style dna where you express your personality in the clothing but it also fits you so this is the way to go one simple rule i always see 
broken and this is actually the rule that needs to be abided by is if you're doing layering look or multi-layered look with like for example a blouse and then there's the sweater vest and then there's the blazer and then there's the jacket whatever it is you always need to make sure that the next layer you put on yourself is always almost always and i'll talk about the exception in a couple of minutes is almost always so 99 percent of the time is thicker than the previous layer so how does it work for example the blouse that you're wearing needs to be thin and then the sweater vest is for example it could be like a cashmere or wool whatever it is needs to be thick enough to hold the blouse in and also to make it not crinkle and make it look good. And the next layer, which would be, for example, a blazer needs to be thick enough, needs to be structured enough and hold its shape enough not to make the blouse be visible through the sleeves and the material of the blazer. And the next layer, which could be a trench coat, a coat, a leather blazer, whatever it is, needs to be even thicker to hold everything, anything that is beneath it and to still be comfortable for in everyday wear and also to have this like amount of air and breeziness and lightness within a look. So nothing needs to be tight and visible and no layer that's beneath the layer that's over it needs to be visible through the upper layer. So like what you're aiming for is not to see the crinkled blouse under the sleeve of a blazer. That would be a no-no. So what we're going for is always something thicker. And the only exception I've talked about previously, so the only exception, that one, 1% 1 that you need to pay attention to, that one exception that happens in this specific item of a clothing and in this specific styling percept is when you take a very thin, like absolutely veil thin crepe layer so something that's really in in the moment like a very airy blouse see-through shirt see-through short dress etc etc so the example would be a short dress or a shirt by the brand the row so this is the only way you could work with a thinner layer on top and a thicker layer on the bottom if it's absolutely see-through. So something plasticky, something crepe, something very, very see-through and airy and not cleany at all. That's the only way this could work. And the last rule that would actually just complete your outfit altogether and that would work amazingly, and this is also a cliche, this is a rule that works against the cliche that is happening still in the, that's surrounded, and that's absolutely infiltrated the fashion world, is matching your hardware to a T. So if you're wearing like a bag with silver hardware, your earrings, your rings, your hardware on your jacket needs to be silver as well. And this is a no-no. Most of the time, what it ends up looking as, it's like you've tried too hard to match everything. And then the look looks flat. It doesn't look deep enough because there's no juxtaposition of different hardwares within one look. So what I would advise actually to do is to not match these hardwares. And the look would look more completed, more interesting, more deep, uh, more thoughtful and more easygoing. It would not look like you've been, you know, dressing yourself for a couple of hours just to end up wearing the same thing over and over again. So what I would go for, for example, if you have a silver hardware on your back, just go with it and then just take a gold ring and a gold hardware on your jacket, like gold button, etc., etc. Mix it up. It always looks more interesting if it doesn't necessarily look like you've tried really hard. And this is one simple, absolutely easy one second trick that would make your outfit stand out and look more laid back but still stylish let me know in the comments below which one of these tips works best for you or maybe you've discovered one of them for the first time in your life and you're absolutely thrilled let me know in the comments below also maybe some tips you have to create that effortless 
style that also expresses your personality or one's personality. This is it for this video. Have an amazing, beautiful, stylish, inspired day. Bye!